hello and welcome to my channel i'm maria bonita your tapping practitioner for today and this tapping sequence is specifically on fear of public speaking so if you have just a general fear of public speaking if you have a specific event coming up or just getting that courage to just go live in front of the camera this sequence is going to help you um lots of my clients have said that when they've done sequences even for other things that we've been working on, uh, when they do tapping, they then feel more confident and able to show up either online or in front of people. So this is something I feel very comfortable doing. <laughs> Those of you who've been watching my videos for a long time. So let's go through it. I really want you to connect with that feeling, that fear of public speaking, and just rate it on a scale of zero to 10 in terms of intensity of how it feels in your body right now. When you've got that number, we're gonna start tapping. And at the end, I want you to go back to, uh, back to that number and let me know how you get along in the comments. Remember that if you want a personalised sequence specifically made for you, check out the links below. I have a few spaces to work one-on-one -on -one with me so we can really get to the bottom of it and create a really, really simple sort of like five to ten minute daily routine that's going to condense so much work <laughs> into what really needs to be done to help you out. Okay, so let's get tapping. So here on the side of the hand, just follow me. I'm scared of speaking in public. I'm scared of showing up. I don't mind when it's just a few people. And I really care about the message I have. But standing in front of everyone, all eyes on me, expecting me to produce something amazing, it feels like a lot of pressure. Because even if I know what I want to say, sometimes I'm not sure I'm getting it out the right way. Or what if I freeze up? What if I look like an idiot? What if everyone laughs at me? Or what if I accidentally do something really stupid like sneeze and a bogey comes out? <laughs> These are all the things that go through my head. And I accept that I feel this way. I choose to love, accept and forgive myself for having all these fears. Because the truth is, I just want to show up and do a good job. I want to make an impact with my words. I want to speak from my heart. And speak from a place of love. And I don't want to sound like an idiot. I don't want to shoot myself in the foot and come across in the wrong way and then people won't take me seriously or think that I'm not good at what I do. I really care about this and that's why I'm scared of doing it. I'm scared of speaking in front of everyone. So... I accept these emotions. I'm not gonna run away from them anymore. I'm here facing them. Because when I face these difficult emotions, I often find a little nugget of gold in there. Something for me to take away. And I think it's because I really want to do this from my heart and soul and because I want to do this from a place of love all the fears coming up but instead of seeing this as a problem I choose to see this as an opportunity to accept these fears and to let them go I can handle them I can deal with these difficult emotions because the message I have is bigger than me. It's bigger than these fears. So instead of trying to do this alone, I'm gonna call in pure love, God, universe, whatever you wanna call it, to speak through me. This is not about me memorizing something and sharing it although that might be an element of it. This is about me opening up my heart 
and allowing the most pure, beautiful, loving energy to flow through me and through my words and touch everyone that hears them. Even if I'm literally just, you know, making an announcement about something really simple, I can do it from a place of love. So instead of carrying all these fears myself, I'm just gonna tune in and say, you know what? I am feeling kind of scared and that's okay. But I'm not gonna do this alone. I choose to be a vessel for love, for loving words to flow through me. So instead of trying to force everything through and worry that I'm gonna forget something, what if I just allow whatever needs to flow through, to flow through and trust that my words are in the highest good? So before I speak, I'm gonna acknowledge the fears. I'm gonna allow them to be part of the journey because they're just a sign that I care. And then I'm gonna open my heart and allow the energy of love to be the words that I speak. And so it is. Put your hands on your heart and take a deep breath in. And let it all go. I highly, highly encourage you to do this one regularly, especially if you've got an event coming up or if you, um, you know, you want to go live, you can do this just before you go live. Remember, if you want to learn how to create your own scripts and you want to take this a step further, I have a very affordable course that you can take all online um, that's self-paced. So you can just click on the links below, send me a DM and I'll speak to you very, very soon. Take care.